Attention gamers. Imagine this, you play League of Legends because you were psychologically damaged as a child and think this cancerous piss pit of a game will bring happiness to your textbook addiction symptom ridden sphincter, you get autofilled because Riot Games is Satan himself so you lock in a mid lane mage because you'd rather get ear hole sanduskied by a horse cock wearing a sandpaper condom than support for another random jizz stain who puts the icing on this two girls one cup flavored sundae by locking in. Hasagi! So laning phase goes exactly how you would expect where keeping this dashing douche out of danger is harder than pissing with a boner and you're well aware that the condition he was born with only gets worse later when you aren't around. So you peek high pissy yay that's your lane mate and as if this isn't bad enough. Zed syndrome is present near the rift equator where the only spot his exes are marking are the ones that are going to smell of a greedy useless decaying dead bitch body and if we go up north we have a range top laner born with severe vein syndrome where you can feel the amount of jealousy her ass has from the amount of shit coming out of her mouth as she has less presence in team fights than a damn grump npc so you're surrounded by shitters with syndromes with limited options to turn the tides because your upbringing pigeon hold you into being nothing more than a useless bot but you don't want to be a useless bot you want to be a badass bot like ones that were cool enough to hang around megan fox so you download Mecarina the brand new mobile game gearing up for its official worldwide release in August that Rav has been secretly grinding for weeks because if you're in Canada the US UK or another lucky country you can get a head start today. And now it's time to invite you kids into the mech madness as more victims for me to squash on the battlefield so picture this. Overwatch meets Star Wars ATSD Walkers meets a 5v5 PvP shooter you can play from the shitter in a new game with tons of mechs and weapons that you can upgrade customize level up and build in a roster that you then bring to battle across a variety of maps and game modes to showcase your skills bring home the dubs and if you are me aka spamming games since they are short enough to finish a few during a single league champ select you smurf on everyone to the point where you are the MVP in almost every match. Now I don't want to just give away my trade secrets but as a courtesy tip from me to you I recommend hunting down a javelin rack weapon and leveling that bad boy up as the sky bombs are about as OP as insert name of champ who you think is OP. Two combos I run are to equip this in one arm on the green bean helio girl 9000 mech and throw unsuspecting scrubs off with my piss laser until the almighty Zeus Deuce lands on their dome where you can equip one on the lancer and take jump shots from behind walls to hit people that don't even see it coming. The community is super active and the devs are constantly coming out with special events competitions and tournaments every single month so check the link in the description or scan this QR code to get a dank black carbon skin 300 coins and 50k credits to help you lock in and upgrade some dope weapon mech combos. Wrecking Mech Ravi Boy Audi Ah and now back to this warm piss pit that we all know and have grown to absolutely hate and for those of you posting timestamps in my comments section like it is the official forum to rep your eternal virginity, please politely lick a piss puddle while the rest of us are slapping the like button and getting into my pain in a game with 3 rift syndromes. Ok so full disclosure I was exploring my sexuality with this midget muff in the shrubs early until she tried to treat our session like a one night stand so I tie her up to let my plump parrot of an ADC touch them pixie tits before deeming this business sus and flashing out. This leaves the windshitter in a situation he is all too familiar with aka in need of being bailed out so I tether the titty liquors together which serves as an invitation for the almost dead dumb ass to go flashing back and somehow it works out then a tornado that would have been fatal hits too far south and then the ward in my bag starts whispering shit at me. Rexai is coming. What? F Rexai is f coming. And so me and someone who just dashes around like a startled animal in the presence of danger were like two peas in a doomed ass pot here. Dumbass. So we get back to lane and I am thinking maybe we just poke you know take things slow but this lose inducing idiot would rather get up close and personal so he busts a strong gust to make that little glitter girl jump and I combo with a crystal cucker before wing for the sole purpose of making the dick sniffing backseaters in my comments that say I never use it look ridiculous. Who's wrong now bitches? But this video isn't about my massive manchlong being falsely perceived by little wiggies who have bashful little pinky toes growing out of their groin it's about the presence of three severe syndromes on my team starting with this somersault slut just reeking of range top laner stench pushed up with less vision than a cantaloupe with cataracts so let's all prepare the inside flesh of our assholes to be introduced to a fed nasus later copium especially considering the very next day she rolls into a wall which irritates the barking basher so bam the star of david comes out giving her the confidence to say hey to 40 blue babies who are rolling up a metric shit piss ton of spitballs to throw at the shitter in the shade stomping on their grounds as Galaxy Greg does his best tampon and water impersonation swells up and smacks her back to base. 
Meanwhile I am the last failed abortion is acting syndrome symptomatically in my absence as I am MIA proving that even hot blondes do indeed take shits as he preps the goon gales and then deems this alone time in the face of danger the perfect opportunity to go dashing right into it as he flies around like a harmless flea just waiting to get swatted and you see me out of breath sprinting in to try and prevent his mushy underdeveloped brain cell stew from leaking of his piece of fuck ear holes and in case we need some icing on this cuck filled cake that says Murphy's Law and icing, where Murphy is scarab jungle diffing the piss out of this game trying to get his 10,000 steps early, we get ganked which makes the ending to this play remain true to Yasuo lore. So I am just hoping to buy some time until he gets bumped up on the brain donor list doing things like clearing vision and watching the map but my attempts are exhausting. Yasuo well, I need a word. Make it quick. Their cat is coming to kill, kill you. Kill me. You can try. No you come dumpster you need to run. No more running. Such a fucking mistake. Some mistakes you can't make twice. <laughs> Meet not so fed Zed, the guy putting the ass in assassin utilizing all of his cooldowns to ensure that he last hits at least 20% of the minions in his lane until wreck it wreck Cycarpal tunnels her way into this biz niche leaving him without a flash or enough HP to be considered alive but hey at least his W was well spent a few seconds earlier. Meanwhile every time I see the pride puffs around this shitter I know a noob nato is coming and it's like watching a fat diabetic try to say no to a lit up donut so I donate a titty laser to the cause as a prophylactic Viagra negates our flawless attempts at homunculus homicide until a fatigued wind shitter slowly and sadly dies. That said Zeus deuces in a gosu goose and thanks to a frat boy being drunk enough to think lighting himself on fire and tower diving is a good idea, we end up draining our blue balls. And in the absence of he who shits when things are starting to look up as I hit two people with a missed ult and then cheer on the inebriated idiot who goes by, daddy, as he gets a twofer and then leaves the little wind waker Zelda chode as a sign check for our tumbling top laner as I trigger an entire population of support players by nabbing the cash myself. However to all the tilted tit licking supports at least I'm doing other support things like shielding my teammates before showing that I can still tie up the killer cockroaches and extract blood sperms from them leaving me in a situation where I can demonstrate my vast game knowledge knowing that their one shot ass will path to the chicken coop providing me with the perfect opportunity to flick my nips a few times until they are hard enough to power on the titty lasers and kill this only to wonder how in Jesus Christ's own urine that thing is now full health but you have bigger issues to deal with like the fact that your teammate has literally lit himself on fire and now he is a danger to himself and others. Okay okay now I know I speak about windshitter syndrome so much you would think it's a pyramid scheme that I created and queef lullabies to every night before bed so I would love to really drive home an example here of how real this thing is. We have our subject with two enemies in the area that if you zoom in far enough both have half chubs because they want to do to him what was done to her and his reaction is to dash not once or twice but three times in the wrong direction as if his job is to hurt his homicide suspects into one group so that he can line up a noob nato that he will put in his montage before cutting the scene right after so that the audience doesn't see the result of being more outnumbered than a young Riley Reed filming a gig at a frat house. And I guess this grade A cockalorum has something that's contagious because the hooded Edward Scissor hands immediately decides that his X-Men rendition is a good idea against he who Rift Alexa has been blabbering on about all game and her butt buddy spin slut so he heads home early and I long beam my way into more green than a whole food supermarket. So we head north to see if there's any progress being made up there and I guess despite failing the easy difficulty of this game called Don't Feed the Nasus she decides to jump right into hard difficulty involving a heat seeking tower and occasionally a burrowing bitch killer that surfaces at the opportunity to do some spin spasms to slaughter a somersaulting sack of scum and for completeness our beer guzzling butt sucker decided to just see how far down he can run before dying and of course there was a constructive conversation about who is a better example of why birth control exists in chat all while I see gothic Wolverine positioning to do something regrettable so I lend him a laser because I was dead ash just concerned about his well-being. And I am optimistic when I see this literal shit stain head mid because maybe being in his natural habitat will spark something less financially rewarding for the other team but this guy is just the proverbial before picture in just about any motivational transformation you can find online. And of course his failures are conveniently timed as well right when asserting flapping slap assisting buff is up for grabs in river paired with the fact that our vein is about as present as a dad who lost custody of the kids because he presented his newly eligible lil dicky at a divorce attorney court hearing so a three v5 welcomes our Zed to be the hero like he's never been before only to fail in timing execution and just about any other metric one can evaluate that decision on. 
Anyways back to mid where my main concern is where the nearest bathroom is so I can wash my hands and hopefully not catch whatever this granny haired windshitter has and it's a scary day for any lame mother of a moron when you see the tornado come out and then the dash derp disappear and thanks sweet baby Ray's barbecue sauce this one turned out in a way where he could flash his mastery 7 up proudly because you have to celebrate these rare occasions when the color is still in fact present on your screen as a windshitter. Meanwhile Vane is still top as if she's stapled to one of the hooded scallions up there or something but the Gosu goon knows that the best montages spark from a seemingly impossible situation to survive and you miss a thousand shots you don't take but unfortunately she is playing as if she has consumed those thousand shots so yeah she a dead bitch. Pan back to mid a clutch as shit swirly boy axe is the invitation for the idiot to go airborne only for him to get knocked up and bounced around like a cheap hooker who can't afford birth control as he deems flashing and retreating a prudent decision in the presence of a teleporting Susan but unfortunately there's one problem and her name is Sai, first name Rec. But 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 despite me being more of a tits guy the kind that emit lasers we start to turn around the fight as I cast yet another clutch shield to silence the haters in the back seats before being like Bro back off we got this My axe is thirsty Your axe can drink later dumbass To which bro law from base phones in to give me some props which is the first intelligent thing anyone on this syndrome ridden team has said all game because I'm like a factory of well timed W shields at this point but unfortunately the granny gold givers approach to approaching objectives is to blow his biggest defensive cooldown to block 17 total damage from a singular cone drone and then pace back and forth like he just chugged three natty lights and someone's getting a blump in in the bar bathroom until he entertains the dizzy dancer's entire knife collection sales pitch while we all just pretend that my booby beam stole this drag. But in reality we know it was probably more like they claimed the prize come shot and then these two jizz mongers tripped over each other's ineptitude until they both fell flat on their face and landed side by side in fountain. And in case you weren't completely convinced that this kid wasn't the product of monkey cum injected into a dumb blonde's butthole and then fertilized with literal lawn chemicals then please see appendix A labeled LMFAO. Meanwhile Zed is hard at work stealthily stealing a blue buff in a warded brush because all that crazy mana regen will be needed to fuel him through the auditioning for a role in a series of unfortunate events, a film based off of the novel with an alternate ending where some sperm mucus mixed moron dies to a minion at the end. Then back to the ponytailed wind dumper acting like he could care less about Khaki's axe mortality because he has more important things to do like disrespect the killer cockroach before dashing into danger to hit her from the back but only her beetle boyfriend is allowed the back door if you know what I'm saying but play is strictly off limits so she murders his ass and then Gosu comes in for some scarab scraps as you see me try to contribute in true sniper support fashion. And as a bit of behind the scenes editor's content, it was at precisely this point in the game where I ran upstairs to get my COVID mask because I knew it was unsafe to be breathing the air of my teammates anymore as Vane proudly pushed the murdering baton toward target number 2 as if she needed any extra mobility in this just drowsying display of raw 200 years in the form of apparently 200 free dashes as I paint myself the color of my eternal elo because I don't support I just try to chatter cheese steel kills like I did here which was a fail and look I'm all for letting bygones be bygones as the GameStop stock that I sold 3 years ago but this angry drunk frat ginger snap was so inebriated that crying over spilt milk was his only appropriate reaction as he went full lava lamp lunging himself into something even my superior supporting skills fall short of surviving as I fall victim to the curse of carrying too much copium. And I guess 3 rift syndromes and a rav is enough to make even someone who survived being butt fucked by a goat during his greek hazing want to just afk mid as our vein follows the feeding leader with a fashionably late purposeless performance only to acknowledge that she just willingly ran into a crime scene that can best be described as oh you got deleted, Vailp. All while the wind shitter is a now our team's wind splitter and I don't want to say he's stupid but rather he just has bad luck when thinking and then Vane gets categorized as an ADC Z paths in a way that makes me think he actually has a fetish for dying the wind shitter gets aerial fucked one last time as we lose purely due to my lack of shielding skills as luck support with Vane still chirping as if she didn't just go 4 and 11 into a damn nasus, leaving me with a strong desire to go take a shower. Rav out. With Gabby boy, I'm in your crib with the blappy boy. Talk to me slick and I'm popping your pappy. If happy talk back, then I'm taking your Grammy and boy, oh boy, I'll make her happy. Let's go.